Growing a startup is much more than just um, acquiring new customers. There are a lot of things that go into it, a lot of metrics that you need to measure. There's the part of how do I retain my customers, there's a part of how do I onboard my customers and get them to understand my product better. There's a part of how do I get them to become brand advocates so that they can start referring my product or service to other people and how do I increase the amount of revenue I can get for each customer and increase my LTV CAC ratio. Now, when it comes to actually answering some of these questions, there's a particular funnel that actually helps you to itemize and measure more accurately all these metrics that are very important for good hacking a startup. And this funnel is called the AARR funnel. R funnel. It has in it acquisition, activation, retention, referral, and revenue. In this video, I want to talk you through the AARR funnel. I'll explain what each of these terms means and the key things you need to pay attention to at every stage of the funnel. If you want to go a startup, you as a marketer or as a startup founder, then this is a very important video for you to actually stay and watch till the end. Hey guys, thank you so much for staying to watch this video. My name is PC Timmy and I create brand marketing, inspiration and lifestyle videos every week. If this is your first time, make sure that you subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. If this is not your first time, but you haven't subscribed, make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you share this video after watching. So let's get right into it. Growing a startup, the AARR for now. Now when talking about growth for a startup, one of the first things that you want to pay attention to is acquisition. Now acquisition is all about your acquisition strategy. How am I going to be acquiring new customers or new users for my product? You want to pay attention to what is your strategy, how and where, what channels are you using to acquire your customers? Not just what channels, but also what are the top performing channels? Top performing performing channels in terms of cost, in terms of um, duration, in terms of um, how many users are coming from there. You want to identify the different channels you use and the top performing channels and how you can keep optimizing those channels to give you more customers. Also, a key thing in your acquisition strategy is understanding your CAC ratio, meaning your cost per customer acquisition ratio. How much are you spending to acquire one customer? Now, after, once, you, once you're done with acquisition, understand your acquisition, your acquisition channels, how you're going to be um, getting new customers, what message you're going to be telling them, how you're going to be relevant to them, how you're going to be optimizing your top performance channels and reducing how much you spend to acquire one customer. The next thing you want to go is activation. Now, activation is all about the effects experience that your customers will get once they become your customers or your users. Now, meaning that it is at the point where they will determine every other thing that they'll do throughout the life cycle of being a customer or user for your product or service. This is the first experience that they get when they come in contact with your product. So beyond downloading the app, when they now decide to actually sign up and start using the app, how is the experience like? After they start using your service, when they start getting them results, how is that result like? Is it hard for them to understand? When it comes to acquisition, to activation, there are three key things that you think you want to pay attention to. One, understanding of your product or service. How do I make sure that the customers that I acquire, the minute that they come, come into my product, they understand how to use the product? How do I onboard? my new users and new customers? Do I send them emails? Do I write a long blog post? Do I make a video? How do I walk them through the product so that it's a seamless experience for them? And thirdly, it's the experience. Beyond just the UI, UX experience, it's also the customer success or customer support experience that they get. Because if they lack understanding or their body is not clear, it's what happens with your customer success or customer support team that will determine if they will come back to use your product the first time. So again, we've talked about acquiring our customers and how much we're spending acquiring our customers. Once they became a user, the next thing is that it comes to activation. It's activation that determines if they're going to use your product again after the first time, right? They must understand how to use your product, what your product is supposed to be used for. You must have a very clear and seamless onboarding process and make sure that the experience in terms of UI, UX and customer support is seamless at every touch point that they have. Once you get your customer to actually have a very first experience, the next question is, I need to make sure that they come back again and again and again and again. And that's a retention strategy. Beyond them using your product or your service for the first time, how do you make sure 
that your customers are coming back again you want to answer questions like this what do i do do i send them push notifications so that they remember that the app is still on their phone do i send them emails do i send them social media um post do i do a remarketing campaign if they haven't come in a while and you need to have a retention strategy so when your users use your product the first time they can remember to come back the second time if they use your product the second time they can remember to come back the third time you need to keep top of mind awareness and keep being in their faces so that you can actually retain them now once you've gone through from acquisition to activation experience down to retention the next thing is referral slash revenue now, when you actually Google the, um, the, the R funnel, sometimes you see revenue before referral, other times you see referral before revenue. I particularly am very skeptical on which one should come first. And so that's why I put this arrow here. Now, let me talk about revenue. Now, for a lot of um, startups, they, what they have is products and um, services and say like subscription-based services. Sometimes you can get the user to start using your product over and over again before you start making money from them. But you want to make sure that you have a very clearly defined revenue and upselling strategy. So do I move them from premium to premium? Do I actually start sending them more messages to upsell and upgrade? To upgrade their packages? Right? Do I give them incentives to spend more? How do I increase their transaction volume? or their transaction frequency or transaction amount you want to ask questions like money is important to us so how do we make sure that we are getting a lot of value for each customer that we retain any customer that we activate now and there's referral so beyond retaining your customers beyond making money from each customer is then the referral question which is can my can i convert my customers to brand ambassadors so that they can start referring me to other clients business people business experts say that the cheapest form of um, growth is retaining your old customers but i also think that the cheapest another cheapest form of growth is getting your current customers to refer you new customers because you're not just retaining one customer you're using one customer to get another customer for free right so you want to make sure that your pe people are beginning to love your product or service so much that they are now referring their friends and family you want to also beyond just expecting them to do it you want to push them you want to incentivize them you want to tell them to actually start sharing your product or service to their friends and family and their networks this is a very simple explanation of what the growth funnel, AARR funnel actually means. How are you acquiring your customers? What channels? How much are you spending? Activation. Do they understand your product? Do you know the aha moments that they have? How's your onboarding process, onboarding process like? What's your customer source service like? The first experience that they get from your product or service, does it make them feel like, wow, this is the best thing since sliced bread? Retention, beyond the first aha moment, are they coming back again and again? Am I retargeting them? Am I sending them messages, content to keep top, top of mind awareness? How do I convert them? How do I convince them to start referring me to other people? How do I incentivize them? How do I push them? How do I get them to share my product or service to other people within their network? And making sure that I'm actually making a revenue for each customer. Revenue might not always come in in the first one month or two months or three months or four months or six months, but there always has to be a revenue strategy in place. Are we going from premium to premium? Are we ha having an upgrade? Are we increasing a little bit of cost in our transaction rates? Are we um, upselling a particular service to the same customer so we can keep making money? You need to have a revenue strategy. And understand that the metrics that you are going to measure at each point is going to differ. For instance, about metrics, here i'm measuring things like cac i'm measuring things like per channel right what is bounce rates per channel session duration per channel cost of acquisition per channel number of users per channel ctr and conversion rates right for activation I'm looking at again bounce rate is important do they come in and do they leave immediately i'm looking at sign up completion 
I'm looking at number of first transactions or game or whatever experience, whatever product it is that I use it, but number of people who beyond sign up, they complete the first step of actually using your product that's on the activation. You want to also check like things like drop off points, drop off points, where are they dropping off at? You want to also check things like number of support, number of support requests fired during the first interaction. For retention, you want to look at things like number of returning visitors. You want to look at things like unique visits versus number of sessions per person, per person, per time. <laughs> My thing's terrible. For referrals, you want to actually check out usage of referral codes, usage of referral codes. Um, use of discount, use of discount, etc. And of course, for revenue, it is how much are we making? You see, when you understand the different things that you need to address at every point, it would also define the metrics that you measure and the metrics that are priority for your startup. If we are just a very new startup, the most important thing for us is acquisition. By the time we acquire a certain number of customers, we have to start thinking, the customers are activating, are they even, are we activating them? Are they being, are they actually completing their first stuff? Then retention, okay, beyond activation, when we grow a little bit, the next thing we start thinking about is retention. Then after you grow a little bit, the next thing you start thinking about is referral. And of course, long term, I think about revenue. Don't try to answer all these questions all at once for a very new company. You want to take them step by step by step by step, but it's something that you want to understand now and start planning ahead for the future. I hope I was able to explain the AARR funnel, the growth funnel to you, um, for you to really understand it. If you have any questions that you think I didn't cover, please ask me in the comment section below. I promise to reply. Also, share this to other startup founders or digital marketers and good entrepreneurs and good marketers that you actually know, right? Spread the word. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Make sure that you don't leave this channel without subscribing. Peace out.